Hi you guys, so it is Sunday and I'm getting ready to take myself to the movies. My movie is at 1.30. I'm seeing Wrath of, let me see. I feel like I say Wrath wrong. I feel like I say Wrath, like Wrath, Wrath. Okay, Wrath of Man. It's a Guy Ritchie movie. So my movie is at 1.30. Uh, I need to get ready because I need to I didn't order my popcorn yet. I didn't get my nachos. And you know, I have to go stop by the store and get a pop and some candy. So yeah, I gotta hurry up because it is 12.42. I got like 20 minutes and I'm still wearing my jammies. I have to wash my face because I still have on yesterday's mascara. All right, I'm about to wash my face really quick and I need to hurry up. Uh, be right back when I am doing something else. Be right back. Confession, I should have got up earlier to get ready for this movie than I actually did. And now it is 12.56 and I'm freaking out because I need to hurry up. <sighs> I still need to stop by the store. <sighs> Pre-scheduling things is such a stress for, of mine. And I also haven't been to the mutant. I mean, I haven't been to the movies since New Mutants came out. So I don't know when that was in theaters, but I saw it that weekend it came out. And that was the last time I saw anything in theaters. So I'm like <gasps> trying to hurry up. When I go to the movies, I try to dress. <sighs> okay, so I'm just like flying through this really quick. I also still need to put a post up that I won't be doing my Sunday lunch and that I'll be streaming instead. I'm like debating, should I even do eyeliner? All right, I got two minutes. I got time for eyeliner. We got time. One o'clock, we have time for eyeliner. <laughs> All right, so we are all ready for the movies show you guys my outfit. I have on my favorite sweatshirt. I will never let this sweatshirt go ever in life. I love it so much. Uh, so we got this on and then I have on some shorts and my ruffle socks with my Vans. I hardly ever wear these shoes. Hardly ever, but figured today I could. Okay. It is now 107. Movie starts at 1.30. We gotta hurry up. I know there's trailers and everything else, but I wanna be sitting in my seat and watch these trailers. <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys. Uh, we're gonna make a quick store run. Well, I already told you guys we're doing. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so it is 125. So it is 125. I am in the movie parking lot. I still need to get my popcorn and my nachos, but we have Mike and Ike. I got a vitamin water instead of a pop because I'm trying to do better. And raisinets. Couldn't find the dark chocolate ones, but these would be okay. All right, put my mask on and let's do this. In theaters May 28th. Learn more at cinemark.com. Rated PG-13. Movie was a movie date was a success. I am on my way home. I really like the movie. Very, you know, guys. If you've seen a Guy Ritchie movie, you get the gist. They're always very twisty. There's always some sort of loop where everything like starts out crazy and then it somehow it comes together at the end. It's very that. So very good. I don't think it was my favorite Guy Ritchie movie though. I know it just, I can't think of which one is my favorite. I kind of like them all, but Snatch was probably the first one I saw. And that was the, and when I first saw it, I was just like instantly really into it. So Snatch might be still my favorite. We finished our nachos. We finished the slushy, which I didn't like, I didn't even get to tell you guys. 
I thought the slushy machines were down because when you go on the website to pre-order snacks, the icy wasn't there. So when I got there, I got my nachos and then I got my um, my popcorn. And then somebody next to me had got asked for a slushy and I saw they had all the cups behind the plastic or behind the border. And I'm like, oh, give me a large. So yeah, finish the slushy, the nachos, the raisinets, I didn't really like. They taste way sweeter than normal. Like they were sweeter than the Mike and Ike's. That was weird to me. So I really didn't like the raisinets. I ate a few of them, um, the Mike and Ike's, but it's ugly. Like it's been, when I woke up today, it was storming, like really loud thunder or really loud thunder. And I thought like, okay, it's probably like storming. I'm not gonna go outside. Then it stopped and it hasn't rained in a second. The ground is kind of dry, but it's super gray out right now. So I was gonna go get ice cream and take myself like on an ice cream date as well. But with the sky looking like this and the place I wanna go to is kind of 20, 30 minutes out. I don't think it's all that worth it for some ice cream, especially when I plan on streaming in about 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna go home and relax in the house for the rest of the day. That was fun. I miss the movies. I used to go to the movies every Sunday. Every Sunday morning, I would wake up, go see a movie. If there was something good out, most times, like, not 2020 but 2019 there was a good movie out almost every week so i was able to go to the movies every week 2020 i think i went to the movies once or twice the only time i remember was new mutants i don't remember anything else but very fun i hope something else good comes out i don't think this movie was on hbo max or streaming anywhere at the same time so that's why i went with this movie instead of ray of the dragon because ray of the dragon will be on disney plus probably in a month or so for free so i'm just gonna wait that out and then oh. spirals coming out to the saw movie but i'm pretty sure that's gonna end up on hbo max so i'm not gonna bother seeing that in theaters but I really enjoyed it. I was just sitting there the whole time. I was like really smiling because I just love the energy at the movies. And I got so lucky because I sat in the row. Um, you know how as soon as you come up the steps, that very first row behind the handicap seating, I was able to sit in that row. And I was on one opposite end. And the only other person in that row was way on the other opposite end. So I basically, it was just only two people in that row, me and some other girl, and we were on very opposite ends. So it worked out. Except she kept reacting to the movie. Every time something happened, she'd go, <gasps> or she jump or go, oh my gosh, like she was doing too much. And I was trying not to be that person who every time they do something, I have to stare and look at them. But she was trying me because she was a little bit, she was reacting a little too much. Like girl, calm down, it's tense, it's action, but we all need to collect ourselves and refrain from reacting. Like, come on now. I think I might just be like a movie theater snob though. When I go, I want people to be dead silent. That's why I usually don't go see popular movies the week they come out. Like when I went to go see, um, I can't remember if it was, I think it was Endgame. When I saw Endgame in theaters, I saw Endgame and Infinity Wars. <gasps> oh my God, I just spilled all the popcorn on the floor. <sighs> oh, did I? Okay, only a few pieces fell on the floor. Luckily, I kind of rolled the bag up, Jesus. Okay, but when I went to go see Endgame in theaters, there was, it was, first of all, it was packed, and there was a lady, she was like, kept reacting to everything, and then she was so loud, and her excuse was, I paid to see the movie, like, okay, so did we, and we didn't pay for your commentary, Miss Lady, so, you know, when Cap was getting beat up, or when he caught uh, Milnor the, the hammer, she's like, you got it, baby, like, girl, we like we get it like come on <laughs> she was doing entirely too much but she kind of messed up my experience because i like pure silence and i like to like just study the movie because i'm really enjoying it but yeah other than that really good there was a lady who sat behind me who smelled really good like she had a really nice perfume on uh she was like an older lady fancy old fancy older ladies always smell nice they're the best <sighs> Um, 
Josh Harnett was in this movie. I'm pretty sure that was him. He looks a little different because I haven't seen him in a very long time, but I'm pretty sure that was Josh Harnett. And I also think he got his mole removed because he had a barely big mole on his neck. Um, I'm talk, talk about the guy from Lucky Number Slevin and pretty much anything else. He was in a bunch of other stuff when he was younger, but he always had like a really big mole or something on his neck. And I saw him in something else and I didn't see it. And I wondered, did he get his mole removed? Because that was how I always knew it was him because he had a big ass mole on his neck, but no more mole. I'm about to go in the house. I hope you guys enjoyed my movie date video. Hopefully I could take myself out on some more movie dates. And if the weather wasn't so like ugly, Dang, I spilled a lot of popcorn. Oh my gosh. Let me show you guys. Oh. Let me clean this up before I go in the house. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then go in the house. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this movie date video and bye.